Welcome back to Santa Pod for the final round of the year for the amazing Super Street Bikes. This time we're looking at ACU action at the national finals. It's the final round of the year, but it's been a rather cut down championship with a rain out at the start of the season. Big news is that number two in the championship, Graham Balchin, broke a bone in his leg at the European finals, so he can't compete today. So the points going into this round show that it's all still to play for between Steve Venables and Rick Stubbins. And the entry list for this eight bike elimination shows that several riders won't get into the eliminations. Only 11 riders actually made it to qualifying after several did damage at the Friday test session. We lost all of Saturday's qualifying to the weather, so it's a one-shot attempt to qualify on Sunday morning as riders prepare for that make-or-break run. But finally, it's time to race, and first out on track is Gemma Venables in what will be her final event in the class. She's taking on the first half of a father and daughter team. That's Bianca Nilsson from Sweden, and ah, oh, no, no, problems for Gemma off the line. Bianca putting in a stout first pass. Gemma sits up and quite possibly won't get into the field. 11 bikes are trying to qualify for just eight places, remember. Steve Venables will have just seen his daughter put in that 10 second pass, but he's chasing the title and needs to keep his head in the game. He's taking on Steve Wood in the cold fire lane. Neither man can make any mistakes off the line, but it's Ven putting in the quicker run here. Oh, he really means business. A 7.18 at 202 to Woody's Valiant 8.29 but he'll have to wait until eight bikes have run to see if he'll make the field. Dave Smith closest to us, taking on Alex Hope on the CBD Asylum back bike. Strong pair of runs here. Alex getting close to the wall at the top end. You can see him leaning the bike. Just one more pair and we'll have our bump spot. Mark Dainty closest to us, that's Matthias Bolin from Sweden. It's a long way to come not to make it into the field, so he'll be really trying. <laughs> and wow, look at that, a 7.34. I think he'll be safe in at number two for now. Chris Reed with a 2-2 and Robert Nilsson without the 2-2 need to run 8.29 or quicker to bump eighth place Steve Wood out of eliminations. Bit of a stutter for Boyce to give him his proper title, but Robert's on a flyer. Wow. A 7.27 for Robert puts him at number two. Boyce is not in the show. Last man to run is Protac Racing's Rick Stubbins. He's already crowned FIM European champion, but he's also chasing ACU glory. A good run here for Rick. Nets him number two spot, bumping out Steve Wood. So as riders return to the pits after that qualifying run, there'll be some head scratching in terms of settings that will work on this very cold day. And with so much to get through today, the turnaround times between rounds will be very short indeed. And unfortunately for a few riders, they'll be packing up and going home because they didn't qualify for the field. So a look at the final qualifying table. A mixed bag for Venn Racing, but two riders who did qualify were Robert Nielsen and his daughter Bianca. The weather was bad in yesterday, we couldn't drive, but uh, we come on the Friday, so we get some test runs, and uh, Bianca's bike is running good now, and she's running good too. And uh, I have had some trouble, but now I feel I found a little bit right again. 727 is not my best, but it's very good for one test. It's very cold track though, compared to last time you were here. Yeah, but, but I think uh, I have no problem. Bianca has, but she is a uh, low weight too, and uh, you ha don't have that pressure on the tyre. So. You were doing well until things suddenly went wrong in the Euros, so we're back here now, but we haven't really seen much of you. What's been happening? Um, at the Euros, it, it, um, a big end failed. We, I've got the engine out and got it stripped, and the big end failed on that one. So, I mean, that's one of those things. We're pushing it hard. Um, this one, it was a new engine. It done one run. Everything was good. We we turned it we turned it down a little bit for it because it because it was a test there. We, we put a 720 setup in and it went 720. Then we come out on the next qualifier, uh, the next um, test test, and uh, we got to three quarter track and it just lost all the oil pressure and done exactly the same thing again, which is a different problem. But for some until I get it out and have a look, I'll, I won't know. But it um, it threw a rod again. So, but the one thing. I've, I've, I've never made excuses for, for size or weight, 
you know, and we can always go out there and more often than not we can, you know, we can qualify at the front of the pack. We do a lot of number one qualifiers. But this engine's getting because I'm heavier and I think I catch the wind quite a bit and we have this thing by the mile an hour we run and the times that we do, we must be pushing for being one of the bikes that runs the most horsepower to get the numbers that we do and obviously it just takes the slightest little thing and it suffers and here we are. Straight into eliminations and the quarter-finals. After wall-to-wall -wall rain yesterday, it's so nice for our guys and girls to get out on track. Steve Wood on the street lightning bike is in as an alternate for Dave Smith. Big burnout there for Robert Nielsen taking on Steve Wood, who's our number nine qualifier. Steve lifting the front wheel at the hit, not what he wanted against a rider of Robert's caliber. Robert powers on through to take the win with a 7.31, putting an end to Steve's day. Well, Bianca Nielsen has a mountain to climb here, taking on defending ACU champion Rick Stubbins. Oh, but she goes too soon, pulls a cherry on the tree, handing the automatic win to Rick. Has he seen the wind light in the auto glim lane or does he have problems? Well, he takes the win with an 8.21. Good speed for Bianca though. Current points leader Steve Venables needs to go rounds if he's going to take the 2018 championship. First rider to stand in his way is Mark Dainty on the Bornsby Wild bike. And both men lightningly quick away, but Mark's fighting the bike, trying to keep that front wheel down. Meanwhile, Steve Venables powers on through to take the win with a 7.1 at 194 to Mark's valiant 7.79. Last pair out, and it's Sweden's Matthias Bolin closest to us, and Alex Hope on the CBD Asylum bike. And wheel straight up in the air for the Hope Racing bike and Matthias is off and away maintaining that lead and taking the win with an impressive 7.18. It's a much colder track than we've had the rest of the year though. Did you notice any difference? Yeah, it um, actually spun up at uh, the 3.30 foot and um, I had to get off it and, uh, and basically if it weren't for her red lighting I'd have been out. So it was a lucky run. Well, it's very, very close. I think there's still about 20 points in it, so you can't have any more mishaps like that. It must, it must make you think, what am I going to do for the next tune? Yeah, well, just a, a tiny bit more, try, try a bit more. But yeah, it's, it, it's uh, between me and Steve and uh, whoever gets through the furthest in the competition will take the championship. Semi-finals and it's numbers one and two in the championship still in. First up, it's Steve Venables with backing from DME taking on Matthias Bolin. Two very quick bikes here. It's a green light drag race. Both riders fighting to keep the front wheel down. Has Steve done enough? Yes, yes, he's done it. He takes the win at 7.2 in one of the closest races of the season. Well, that puts the pressure back onto Rick. He has a very tough competitor in Robert Nielsen. If Rick loses this race, the championship goes to Steve Venables. Both riders away cleanly. This is one heck of a race. And at the stripe, it's Robert who takes the win. So Steve Venables is the 2018 ACU Super Street Bike Champion with Rick at number two. Well done to Ven Racing. So that still leaves us with the event win to be decided. And that is between Steve Venables and Robert Nielsen. Both men put in very strong qualifiers and have been consistent in eliminations. Last run of the season then, and it's Steve taking on Robert. It's Steve with a 0-5 reaction time. He's pulling out the lead. Robert's chasing hard, but it's Steve who takes the win with a 7.14 at a stunning 204 miles an hour. Handshakes from the crew. It's been a hard-fought season here at Santa Pod. And at the last ACU round of the year, it was Steve Venables who was able to get the job done. Um, it gives me the British Championship, it gives me the, eight, uh, the Santa Pod Championship, and obviously the event wins, so very happy with that. I must be pleased with the way the bike went today overall. 
Yeah, we kept the, we kept the tune up really soft on the start line because it's so cold. I mean, I don't know what the track temperatures got up to, but they, when we looked at them this morning, there was still only about seven degrees, so the track was cold. So we played it safe. We looked at who we were running, kept it soft, um, and I just cut really good lights every time. You know, getting ready for the states because going out there, we need to cut some lights. <laughs> but I know from the start of the year, really, it's 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 back to where the bike should be, isn't it? To be honest. Yeah. Um, it is running. It would have been nice to put some more power in it and see what we could run. But I should say that I don't think the track would have took it. So um, we just did what we had to do to win this event. Santapod's 2019 calendar is already announced on Santapod.com. So head over there for all the details of next season at the UK's most action-packed venue, Santapod Raceway.